I've had the pleasure of clearing a lot of snow over the past couple seasons using these two battery powered single stage snow blowers. The first unit I purchased was the Greenworks Pro 80 volt. This is their 22 inch model. The second unit that I bought was the Snapper XD. This is their 82 volt 20 inch model. Each of these units are priced similarly in that $400 to $600 range depending on the battery configuration and the sales cycle that you find yourself in. Both of these units are high voltage and made by respectable brands, but neither are top of the line. I would call each of these units a strong value option. Neither of these are the cheapest snow blowers on the market, but they're not the strongest or the best units either. Today, I wanted to share you my thoughts of these two snow blowers based on my actual use of them over the past couple snow seasons. I know that some of you are looking to buy a snowblower, and although I don't want to tell you what you should buy, I do hope that what I share with you today helps in your decision-making process. Above all, the important thing to keep in mind here is that both of these snowblowers are more expensive than low voltage battery snowblowers. You know, the ones that aren't particularly strong. They cost more than the battery powered snow shovels that only clear shallow snow accumulation, but they are far cheaper than two stage snowblowers like those made by Snowjo, Toro, Ego, and some of the others. Of the two, the Greenworks snowblower here is about 50 to $150 more expensive than the Snapper depending on the battery configuration and the seller that you uh, that you buy from. The Greenworks 22 inch blower, I say that because they have a 20 inch model, the 22 inch blower is stronger and more durable than the Snapper. However, the price differential may not make it an obvious buy for all customers and here's why. The Snapper 20 inch snowblower here cleans shallow snow very cleanly. It leaves only a thin layer of snow on the pavement. That thin layer can easily burn off in the afternoon sun or through the application of ice melting products. It may be a bit harder to push, but because it clears to the ground in light snowfall, you may be able to apply less ice melt or salt throughout the entire season. For people that get infrequent snowfall or light accumulations, let's call it regular light accumulations, it may be a better buy simply because it's cheaper and because it requires less space to store in the garage. The thing still folds up just like the Greenworks does, but it's physically smaller. If, however, you got a rough textured driveway or a hilly drive, kind of like myself, then the difficulty you'll face in pushing it may make the snapper a little bit more trouble than it's worth. The skid plates are just not well made, in my opinion. They scratch and rust out easily. And more annoyingly, they don't slide over hard surfaces like Greenworks does. My grandfather actually used this Greenworks out on my hill, my huge hilly driveway. It was a little bit of a struggle for him considering that there's no self propulsion, but he was able to do it, but he wasn't able to do it with the snapper. What do you think? Can old man use it? I'm using it. Well, that's true. You are an old man. I don't know if you're going to be able to get back up, man. You think I'm going to push this up it, that hill? It looks like a daunting hill. Are you going to do it? Yeah, you're friggin' much. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the Greenworks unit here is bigger, it's simply easier to push around despite its small wheels, assuming you don't push it up a steep slope or push it through something with deep powder. Now, if you get more frequent snow or the occasional deep accumulation, then the Greenworks Pro model is simply going to be worth the slight increase in cost over the Snapper. For me, the only reason I'm tempted to upgrade snowblowers is for the self-propulsion because I've got this steep hill. The thing is, neither of these units have it, you gotta pay quite a bit more if you're gonna get a snowblower that has that feature. Now the battery systems for both of these snowblowers, in my opinion, are really good, especially for people looking to use the same battery for other lawn equipment in the typical lawn and garden season. For me, I use both of the batteries in these machines in my lawnmowers and in my string trimmers. Both the Snapper and the Greenworks lawnmowers are very strong and they use the same batteries, like I said, although I'd give the strength nod every single time to Greenworks. The Greenworks mower is always stronger. And in my experience, using the snow blowers, the Greenworks is also stronger than the Snapper in every single environment that I've tested it on. This particular Greenworks is carving a 22 inch path compared to the Snapper's 20 inch path, but it's still able to handle the deep snow better than the Snapper. It's covering more ground 
deeper snow and it's still blowing it better. The intake chute is taller than the snapper and the discharge chute doesn't clog as much. I have never clogged this machine. However, I've clogged the snapper a few times. Basically, the battery system for both of these, despite them being great, the battery is able to keep up with this machine better than the snapper machine, even under challenging conditions. Now, when either a machine is paired with its 4 amp hour battery, the battery life has been just fine in my experience. Both blowers can work fairly well under deep snowpack for a good 30 minutes straight. Usually it takes me about 30 minutes or less to clear my entire driveway, and neither snowblower has ever run out of battery on me. Now having said that, I've never had to clear 8 to 10 inches off of my entire driveway in any one time. Because of snow drifts, I've cleared that much with both of these machines, but not across the entire driveway. At that point, I might need more than one 4 amp hour battery. So far, I've never seen conditions like that, and I've never had to stop to recharge a battery in the middle of the job. My guess is, if you don't get a foot of snow very often, you're probably going to be fine using either of these systems, assuming your driveway isn't ridiculously big. Now, both blowers can be used with the smaller batteries that come with some of the other tools, like the string trimmers or the edges or any other of the small tools that come with the two or two and a half amp hour batteries. Snapper, for instance, if you buy one of their mowers, you could get two two amp hour batteries in it. And those smaller batteries will also work in this machine. The smaller batteries probably would be too small for a lot of people with big driveways like myself, but there's a lot of people out there with tiny driveways that they'll work just fine in. As for creature comforts, the Greenwork machine is far easier to turn the discharge chute. So this little lever here is very easy to use. And the snapper discharge chute uses this little lever here, which is much harder to use. It's a little bit more wobbly and it does feel like it's going to break at some point. It does jam from time to time as well. I feel like the durability of the snapper is significantly lower quality than the durability or the expected life that I expect out of this. Now as for lighting, because during the winter it's low light environments, uh, there are more lights on the snapper than there are the greenworks. I feel like the lighting is better on the snapper, but in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal. Neither of these machines have an extremely powerful set of lamps on them. What does make a difference to me, however, is the actual snow clearing auger, blade, paddle, whatever you want to call it, under these machines. With the snapper machine, it's made of a hard plastic. It always makes me feel like it's going to chip or crack or break somehow when I'm pushing that snowblower over chunks of ice. So let's say, for instance, the ice that falls off the wheel well of your truck or your car, once that hits the ground and adheres to it, I don't want to take this over it because I feel like it's going to break that blade. In comparison, the Greenworks machine has a semi-flexible, it's kind of rigid, but it's a flexible blade under there. And although I probably wouldn't take it over an iceberg in the middle of my driveway, I've never had any concern taking it over regular chunks of ice that accumulate on anyone's sidewalk throughout the snow season. Generally speaking, for long-term durability, I'd put my money on the Greenworks machine over and over and over again without hesitation. No matter what, though, because both of these units are push-only models, I always recommend users to own and use a pair of boot studs. Those are the little like studs that you put on the bottom of your shoes or your boots. I use them every time when I'm using a snowblower because it simply makes the job easier and safer. They give you the traction that you need to push these machines through the deep, heavy snow or across slopes on your driveway that many of us have. Without my studs, I'd probably be slipping and falling a lot more often than I care to admit. Now, I have a video link down below where I discuss this in a bit more detail if you care to watch it, but I think you catch my drift. Now, for those of you who have to deal with snow and ice frequently, I know you probably spread a lot of ice melt all over your pavement before incoming snowstorms and after clearing the snow later in the day. As a lawn care educator, first and foremost, I have an entire video all about what that ice melt does to your lawn, why it sometimes kills the lawn off and sometimes doesn't. You can see my snow and ice removal tips videos. I've linked to them all down in the description 
description below, or you can take a look at my what ice melt actually does to the lawn video, which is linked right up here in the corner. And of course, other videos having to do with these two snowblowers can also be found linked in the description below. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to leave your questions in the comments box below.